Hey Facebook friends and family, glad you clicked on another one of my vids. I just want to kind of keep you updated on what's been happening and Sunday I was able to go to my home church and share my testimony and maybe preach a little bit and I know that God touched some lives and the Spirit of God just fell down and people were touched and healed that day and I just give God all the glory. Well yesterday I met with a gentleman that I met Sunday and he wanted to hear some of my testimony and share what God has given me and the vision and the mission. And we had a great time and we shared God's love and, and just spoke to each other and shared both of our lives and what God has done for us. And truly, I serve a living God. Today I've been a little troubled. Today in the Toledo area, a family of five tragically lost their lives. It was a murder-suicide, and this is so tragic, and people wonder why things like this happen. Because people, let me tell you, have lost hope, has, have lost all ways of thinking there's a better way to live. Because they've lost love, and they feel unloved, but there's another way. There's another way that we can escape these feelings. And that's by the true love of Jesus Christ. Now, we can't hate these people or feel bad for these people because they live like this. But we got to love them because we got to realize who the enemy really is. And that's the devil and his angels the master of all darkness. But Jesus said he was the light of the world. And so we must share that light in these times. I just want to share something with you real quick. And I'm not going to read it all because I try to keep this thing as short as possible. But in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, it talks about having gifts and you can have gifts of prophecy you can have gifts of tongues. You can have uh, gifts of giving to the poor. Um, you can have many gifts, but if you don't do it out of love, it, it's, not, it's no good. It's nothing. Because you must first have the love to do these things. Because, let me tell you, without God's true love, without Jesus' love that he gave for us, we will never be able to understand. The last verse in that, it says, And now these things three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. So we must share God's love to these hopeless and people that feel unloved, people that are hungry, people that are poor, right here in our own communities. Now, I'm hoarse and because I've been up and, you know, I, I've just been praying and I speak to God. I talk out to Him and I've been talking to a lot of people. And one of the questions that I ask God, I, I ask Him questions. And one of the things I asked is, is that, Lord, why are churches building bigger buildings and people in their own congregation and around their own hometown and people in this nation are going hungry? Why are we putting our effort to building bigger buildings? I believe we've lost our vision. The church has lost the mission that they were given to do. And that was to reach out and love and God's love to these people. And so tonight, I just want to share with you, if you feel hopeless, you feel helpless, you just don't feel love, I want you to ask God, reach out to him and say, God, I need your love. Help me in this place that I'm at in my life. Trust me, I've been there and I know. But I kept my faith and I, know he, I knew he loved me. And so tonight, if you're out there like that, just reach out to him. Ask him to help you. I'm going to try to sing a song, an old song that I love. And I'm, like I said, I'm hoarse. I'm probably going to mess up, but this may be for someone out there today. I was 
was guilty with nothing to say. They were coming to take me away. But then a voice from heaven was heard that said, let him go. I should have suffered I should have hung on the cross in disgrace but she You see, no matter where we are, no matter where you are, no matter what we've done, Jesus is our hope and he took our place. That's my message to you tonight. And I love you all. Please be praying for me. Godspeed.